Hello everyone, this is Gareth from WeCycle. Going to go through pairing up a Garmin head unit with um, Shimano Steps e-bikes. Now, first thing you need to make sure is you've got a bike that will connect. So either with one of these inline connectors, uh, the simple sort of display option, or one of the more um, inf informative display screens. Uh, you can see this one's got a little Bluetooth symbol near the top. Almost all of these display screens do. Now it's the screens that have the Bluetooth D-Fly connectivity, not the motors. So although I'm using this on um, uh, an Orbea Rise with an EP8 RS motor, it's not the motor that's connecting. It's that little bit on the, uh, uh, on the cable at the top with the three lights in. That's the thing that enables me to connect to uh, the Garmin head unit. From a Garmin point of view, it needs to be one of the newer ones, so a 530, 830, 1030, 1030 plus, or the Edge Explore. So let's start from the beginning. Um, at the moment, I haven't paired anything up. I have on this one set up a um, uh, e-mounting profile, but just the one that already came with the bike, uh, with the unit. So. Um, First thing I need to do is pair the Garmin with the bike. So I need to add the bike by adding it as a sensor. So go to a menu, go to sensors, add sensor at the top, and then find the e-bike. Click on that and it will tell me, turn on the bike. So do that. You see the light comes on on the D-Fly inline lights at the top. There we are. Click, add, and we're in. Now it's thinking about it and you'll see at the top, I've got nothing paired. They're all flashing because nothing's paired at the moment, but now it said it's added. Now this option here is, do I want to pair DI2 buttons? This mountain bike doesn't have DI2 buttons. That's for the gearing. So I'm just going to click no. Now, if I go into it and scroll across, it will have added an e-mountain bike screen. There we are. Now, on this screen, we've got, um, well, it says Shimano Steps at the top. And then we've got the battery indicator, which is in bars. We've got the mode and um, uh, how much it's working, power, time, travel range and speed. The battery indicator and mode are not adjustable. They are fixed. I can't change those. The four at the bottom I can. And this bike, the Shimano motor, doesn't give a power output. So I'm going to change that by holding it down and I'm going to change it to cadence because the motor will tell me uh, what my cadence is and uh, there is a sweet spot, depending on which mode you're in, as what cadence I should be putting out to use the bike as efficiently as possible. So cadence is a useful one. Now we can look through and see how the display changes as I scroll up through the modes. So as I go up into uh, eco mode from off, you'll see that the word off changes to eco. The little light has come on on the inline display and the range has changed to 81 kilometres. Not bad. I'd be happy if I can get that out of this. If we then go up to trail, we'll see the little light on the inline one has changed. The range has changed to 40, down from 80. Uh, the light's got changed. And then up again into boost. Light at the top changes and the range has dropped down to 27 now that percentage next to the word boost is a percentage of what the motor can put out. And that is capped depending on which mode you're in and how you've set it up on your Shimano uh, app. So um, let's say, for example, the eco mode will only go up to at most 42% of whatever I'm doing. Oh, sorry, of, of what the motor can put out. As I then jump up into trail, that Without me changing how hard I'm working, just press the button, the percentage level changes again, and then up to boost, it might go up to 97, 98, 100% of whatever it can possibly do. 
So there is a small video of me uh, after this, of me out and about on the bike. Here we are. Uh, bit shaky, I know, but I wanted to give you an idea of how that percentage level changes as I scroll through the modes. So at the moment you can see jump from 20 up to the 40s and moved into trail. And now if I jump up into boost, you'll see that it jumped quickly from sort of 30-ish percent of whatever the motor can do, 40% of what the motor can do, up to 70, 94% of whatever the motor can do. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for future videos.